In this video, I'm going to be breaking down a really effective and really efficient U-trip style defense. A defense that's really primarily focused on defending U-trips. Now, U-trips is um, honestly one of the better offenses this year, especially with its use of uh, motion snaps. And so I wanted to do kind of another video uh, just breaking down another little style uh, or really the primary thing that you got to think about um, whenever you're defending U trips. Now, um, if you're new to the if you're new to the channel, make sure that you uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified whenever we release new content. Uh, I post every single day, multiple times a day, uh, videos to help people get better at the game. The other thing that I wanted to say really quickly here in the intro is um, if you're not a Patreon member yet, I'd really encourage you to become one. We have um, several offensive and defensive ebooks, and in those defensive ebooks, we break down kind of how to think about different formations in this game, how to handle them, and some of their pros and cons, specific coverages, and uh, as well as a ton of stuff on the offensive side of the ball as well. So, the bottom line is if you want to get um, all my ebooks, become a Patreon member today for just 10 bucks. The link's in the description to sign up. And uh, when you join, like I said, you get access to all the ebooks. The other cool part, though, is you also get access to all of our updates and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. So you're going to get access to everything that way. Okay? So if you want to sign up, head down to the description, click the link down below. But let's get in and talk about U trips, talk about kind of the primary uh, challenges that exist within this formation and how we can combat them. Now, I'm going to be in the nickel over defense for this breakdown because nickel over does have a very advantageous um, alignment when we talk about defending uh, this formation. Okay, so we're just going to come out in Overstorm Brave. And um, again, what I want to really stress is that this formation or the nickel over has a really good alignment when facing U trips. Okay, um, that's really really important. They understand that because what's going to happen is they are going to do things like um, motioning receivers ran at and and they'll motion either of those two guys across. And if you're in a formation that doesn't get good alignment it can be really, really difficult uh, to stop this this formation, okay? Uh, let me give you an example. So let's say that I base a line and I show blitz, okay? And my alignment looks like this, which is pretty good, okay? And they decide they're going to motion this guy over. You'll see here that nobody follows him. Now, if you look at my play art, you see how I'm out leveraged to the outside. Now, even furthermore... Let's say that I am usering on this safety. You see how there's a significant leverage advantage to the left side. So they might do a concept like this. I have to go to the running back, and if I don't, they throw the running back, or I'm out leveraged to that guy, and they can throw that over the top. Okay? So that's kind of the biggest issue with U-trips. Now... How do you solve that? Um, how do you solve that? Well, the best way that I know how to solve that with U trips is essentially to play a man aligned style defense. So I'm going to back out here and we're going to pick a zone play. And I want to show you something. So we're going to pick a zone play. Cover four quarters, a great example. It's a great defense this year. Um, and we're going to show you how this looks. So if I come out and cover four quarters and I pinch my defense, you're going to notice a, a significant issue. Um, the major issue is basically this. When I motion, if you look at that line, that linebacker moves himself into trouble, basically. Um, so uh, this linebacker moves himself into trouble, okay, uh, which is problem. So if I, may, but I want to show you something else. So let's say I man align and I pinch my defense, okay. If I man align and pinch my defense, watch what happens. You're going to notice that the slot corner is going to rotate with this very, very well, as you can see right there. Okay, so this is going to give us a fairly decent advantage. Now, the one problem is, as you can see, my zones are messed up um, when I'm aligned. So I'm going to need to still adjust those zones. Uh, for example, you know, I might want to, um, you know, maybe do like a one of my favorite things is to baseline twice or you know, something, I mean, you can do these little little tricks, but really the, the main thing here is what I would want to do in this scenario is man that guy up onto 
that number two receiver. And then I would want to go ahead and drop that linebacker into a zone. So you see here, we still keep our quarters, if you will, integrity um, across the board, uh, but we don't uh, necessarily sacrifice alignment, which is really, really important, okay? So now you see here with some just basic adjustments, we're able to play pretty decent coverage, okay? So what I like to do, like I said, is man align against formations like U-trips where there's going to be, um, where there's a good chance there's going to be a lot of motion. So we're going to just man align this. And now what you're going to see, and I'm going to put Overstorm in my audibles, is again, when I come out in this and I'm man aligned, now if they motion, let me show you one other trick of the trade that you can do. Let me see here. I'm going to pull them back here. So if I motion Mike Evans, see how the formation kind of does a really decent job at keeping its integrity um, in spite of any kind of motion that they might do. Okay. Now what I need to do is take that slot and man him up on Godwin. Um, and then from there, honestly, all we need to do is um, put the linebacker on the right in a hard flat and bluff what's a defensive tackle. And like I said, we're back in the same basic coverage defense. Okay? So now what I want to show you something else um, real quick. Uh, I'm going to show you two other things with alignment for U-trips. Because um, it is really important to uh, understand this stuff at a high level. So if I come out, and I'm going to put my quarterback matchups on by speed. I just want to show you one more thing with this. You'll see here that now when he goes across... You see how that changes, and really, now we're playing really good ball. Um, so now, you see it literally looks identical to Overstorm Brave. So if I'm an Overstorm Brave, we'll pinch this defense, we'll come back across. You notice here that this looks really, really well. Now, if I was in cover four quarters, okay, don't ignore the play art here, um, but what's going to happen is whoever they motion – will follow and the zones will basically readjust. So you see here this guy on the right will adjust and now all we need to do when they motion is just simply man that slot up and then typically what I will honestly do is I'll just, you know, I might drop a defensive end into a flat and drop this guy into a curl flat. But you see here we're in really, really good shape coverage wise. So as you can see really really good and we're able to actually do our job which is to hang out over the middle of the field so this is how you can mix your man and zone looks up and they look identical when you put them matchups by speed what that does is it I, i'm not actually honestly sure 100 percent what that does i just know that it, it typically keeps the same guy on the same guy even when they're in zone which is really important when you're defending a, a formation uh like u trip so now you'll see here if i audible to man it looks very, very similar, especially if I shade outside. Especially if I shade outside. So we're shading outside, and then we would press. And then the one thing I would also communicate that's really important when defending this formation is bringing this defender down into the box. Why would we want to do that? Well, if he is back here, which is about where he's at, what's going to happen is they're going to throw this route to their tight end with short and elite all game. They're going to throw that all game. And they're going to do it in a variety of different ways. And I'll show you here. So, like, let me just go to Overstorm. So, um, as you can see, and then again, you see how the tight end's open. He's open on an in route. He's open on a slant. The, t the tight end's basically open at this point. And, again, it's something as simple as, you know, just simply bringing the safety down. Um, but you see here. You know, he's open, okay? So, how do we combat that? Um, the way we do is two ways. The first way is you can shade outside, uh, pinch your defense, and then show blitz. Now, when you show blitz, you see it brings these safeties down. Now, the other thing about show blitz that's interesting, I think, is if we get this motion, you'll see again, because we put those matchups by speed, I think you can also put them by overall, but I could be wrong. You see here that we still get really good action uh, from this. And in this example, we want to man that guy up, drop that guy into the purple, 
and then you see here that we're playing really good defense okay um this unfortunately this guy here basically turns into a nickel corner so you can't put him in an inside quarter um but you know it is what it is anyways so as you can see here this is pretty solid defense across the board. Um, the other thing is, this guy's actually in a position where he can actually do something if the tight end does run, um, you know, a corner route, for example. So you see here, he plays. He's actually able to hang with the corner route and take it away. Now you could do it on a basic show blitz level, and that way you don't have to click on anybody. But the reality is, we're doing this for one player. So what we want to do is just bring this safety down, just like so, and then click off of him and get back onto this guy. And as you can see here, again, if you have a plan for some of these motion snaps, then all that means simply is you're just going to man that guy up there. And you see here that we're able to be fine. You might want to purple that guy and whatever, depending on who they motion. But you'll see here we'll be able to handle any kind of flooding backside as well as anything to the strong side. So that's a way you can do it on a zone. And then, of course, man um, is is obviously really good as well. So if you want to play man, then you can have this right here. And what you'll see is this little access throw that a lot of people like to throw is a lot less open than it was. And, you know, if you really want to blanket this, you know, again, just get the guy down more. But essentially, this is going to force, I like to put him right over the top of him. And I just find that he defends this significantly better. Another really good route is the snap throw crosser. And you'll see he'll be able to be in position for that as well. So this is kind of some fine print, if you will, uh, for defending new trips from an alignment perspective. As well as from a zone perspective. Because you can do a lot of different things. So like if I go to cover three uh, in this example... You're going to notice that, by and large, uh, we're going to bring this guy down. Don't, don't worry too much about this guy here. you know. But by and large, we're in this position. Now, when they motion, though, I want to show you something. So when they motion, um, which this is a very common motion, they'll motion. Look who becomes the outside third. You see how that works? And now, all we simply need to do is, you know, I would probably hard flat both these guys anyway. And then we're just going to man this guy up. You know, so now we're in cover three, and the coverage isn't completely broken, even with a basic motion. So you see here, now they're going to have to you know, work to be able to hit us in any way, shape, or form. So, And then the last thing I do want to say is if you're going to play man against U-trips, you really want to shade outside. Because what you'll notice is, number one, the out route is really, really, really powerful. But number two, this wheel route. Um, is nowhere near as good when you shade outside, as you can see. So when you shade out outside, um, he's going to play that a lot better. Okay? So that's U-Trips. Um, kind of a deep dive into defending it. We're going to do some more stuff against U-Trips as well. I do think that U-Trips is probably the most difficult offense to play defense against. Um, trips side in and bunch are really good, and tight's really good. Um, but U-Trips is just super complex to defend, in my opinion, because you had to do things like this. But anyways, thank you for watching the video. And if you want to learn more about my Nickel Over Defense, you want to get the new Nickel Over Defensive ebook, please join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up. And as a member, you'll get access to all of our ebooks, as well as all of our updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while you're um, a Patreon member. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description below and click the link down in the description.